Hello folks, today this Nissan Micra will be having a rear wheel bearing replaced. You should be able to hear how noisy this bearing is when I spin the wheel. You can hear the bearing rumbling away. This is a new bearing kit which comes obviously with the bearing. and also with a new nut and sear clip and the dust cap it's worth shopping around some of these bearing kits just come with the bearing and the sear clip the wheel bolts are 19 millimeter The handbrake should be off before going any further. Next I will tap the dust cap off. The nut is 30 millimeters. There's quite a lot of brake dust inside this drum, you can see it all floating out of the bottom. This steer clip holds the bearing in place and needs to be removed next. Here I'm tapping out the inner bearing races, of which there are two. This is the easy part. The old bearing race needs to be tapped out from the inside of the drum. Now in our workshop we have a bearing press for removing wheel bearings. Most of you at home won't have a bearing press so there's no point in me using that to remove the bearing. I'll show you the DIY way. Now I'm using an old socket which fits right across the bearing and I'm bashing it out. Looking at the remains of the old bearing, you can see the shiny wear marks. The new bearing needs to be fitted in from the outside of the drum. First I'm getting a start on the bearing by just tapping it gently on the outer lip. These are very easily damaged so make sure you only tap the outer race just around the edge. And once you have it started, well the rest speaks for itself. Just checking how far down the bearing has gone. another check and you can see it's down about six or seven millimeter and I'm tapping around the whole outer race as evenly as I can I 
almost done once I can see the slot for the circlip I know the bearing is all the way down The old bearing outer race helps to tap the circlip down evenly. And that's it. That's the bearing in the drum. With all the dust blown away I can fit the drum. If you're watching this video on YouTube and you find it useful please remember to click the like button. The nut needs to be fairly tight so what I usually do is instead of using the gun I tighten them up by hand and get, then get, get the long bar onto the socket and give it an extra tighten. If you need to ask any questions about this particular job or have any other car maintenance or repair questions, please come over to our forum at DIYcarguides.com and post your questions there. After I have the nut tightened I'll just make sure that the drum is spinning freely. A nice shiny new dust cap. We're coming up to the end of this video now, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you found it useful.